Good evening and uh, welcome to this week's edition of uh, The Agenda. My name is Stephen Jabela, your host. Uh, tonight on the set we are joined by Ephraim Nekongo. He is the secretary of the Swapo Party Youth League. And also, since uh, this week, a Swapo member of parliament in the National Assembly where he served before and he just returned again this week. Uh, welcome to the show, my brother, and many congratulations for your return to parliament. No, thank you, Toivo, uh, and I feel honored to be here. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So part of part of the conversation today, Ephraim, is to to con contextualize things that happened at the recent uh, SPYL Central Committee meeting, where you were endorsed uh, with your deputy also Christian Hindaka to be retained in your positions. And there's been a lot of media reports, people being unhappy with the manner the things were done. Some, some saying it's illegal the way it was done. What can you tell us about the legality of the process? Well, thank you very much. Um, <coughs> um, well, uh, as a secretary, yeah. the Sopo Party Youth League at that office, um, we ought to do things as per our constitution. Yeah. Uh, in this time around, is preparation for Congress. A national Executive Committee set in Oshuarongo, as per the Constitution, uh, to call for Central Committee mm -hmm. and to call the Central Committee in preparation for the Congress. Now, in the process, uh, the only body that is uh, in, that should initiate the process of nomination is National Executive Committee. Mm. At that meeting, uh, myself and my deputy were rescued from the meeting to allow the, uh, for the fair processes. Mm. Uh, it was chaired by the Secretary for Information and before we were uh, rescued, uh, we were asked if we are interested, mm -hmm. which we have um, told the National Executive Committee that yes, we have interest. Mm -hmm. And hence, that's the reason why we are excused. Then, National Executive Committee nominated, and I want to underline there, mm -hmm. nominated Comrade Nekongo for the secretary position. Mm -hmm. And then the call was made again for any further nomination. There was none. Mm. Is that now at the REC at or the National Executive Committee? Yeah. Okay. No, By yeah. that, mm. if there is no other nomination, then that means that that person won by acclamation. Mm -hmm. Second nomination for deputy, Comrade Christina Indaka was nominated, seconded, and there was also call for other nomination. There was no other nomination. Mm. Hence, National Executive then reported uh, or prepared now the report to be tabled to the Central Committee mm. of Swapo Party Youth League. And mind you, these bodies now um, have to call for Central Committee. So to cut the story short, Central Committee was called, it was assembled here in Vinduk. Mm -hmm. um, then again, because I'm now only talking about the nomination, mm. Uh, I think our last thing in that agenda for that central committee was nomination. Mm -hmm. Mind you, the national executive then reported to central committee and said, we have initiated the process of nomination. The feeling of NEC was to endorse, uh, uh, to be, that the process must then be endorsed by central committee. Mm -hmm. Central committee said, no, look, we received the report we are going to go into this process again so that we allow if there are any other nomination. Mm. The process was initiated from there. Then nomination again. Nekongo nominated as a secretary, mm. seconded. Comrade Timothy Angala nominated. There was no secondment. So now through our procedures, if the nomination was brought and there was no secondment, it ought to lapse. Mm -hmm. It lapse. Then uh, there was another call for any other nomination. 
there was no other nomination. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to the deputy secretary, nominated from Rita Indaka, seconded. Mm. After that, again, a call for nomination. There was no further nomination. So again, uh, by virtue of our processes and pro procedure, then the two won by acclamation. Mm -hmm. So I, I want just to make that clear to say this was really an endorsement. It was an endorsement, but based on another nomination. Mm. So it's not just a, a nomination that was uh, that was done. I mean, an endorsement as it being portrayed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's how uh, this process was uh, has gone. Mm -hmm. uh, I want also to clarify that this has been our culture, not only the Swapo Youth League, mm -hmm. uh, be it the Women Council the elders council mm. and also the same process is the same process that we also do at Porit Bureau uh, when you also nominate the uh, top positions of leadership be it the president vice president secretary general and deputy secretary general that is what uh, what happened mm. so uh, now when you want say it's unconstitutional uh, then maybe I need to uh, we need to now to be maybe lectured on what we, we do mm. because uh, we are just administering that constitution and that's what we have done. Uh, one should now tell me and say, yeah, what articles of the Swapo Party Youth League have we violated? Mm -hmm. If the uh, institutions that are created for, for initiating the, the nomination and also uh, perhaps uh, cement the, 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 the nominations were done. Which provision mm. we have, you know, uh, violated. Okay. So that is a process, just to clear it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, very good. You, you did justice to, 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 to the question, uh, Ephraim. Yeah. The, the people who are making these allegations are saying that uh, they kept raising the issue of renewal of mandates. What is renewal of mandates and how does it relate to the process that leads to nominations and, and endorsement of, of candidates? Or are they correlated in any way or are they separate uh, processes that cannot influence each other's outcomes? Well, the process of renewal of mandate um, has nothing to do with the process of nomination. First of all, the constitution speak about three month in advance mm -hmm. that the, the Congress must be known. In other words, Central Committee must invite and inform the membership that Congress must be held in the next three months. Mm -hmm. That you have to do. Now, for example, the region's term is only coming to June, um, come, come to an end in June. Mm -hmm. So if now you have to wait until June for you then to initiate the process, then that means that you breach the constitutional provisions that mm -hmm. is there to, uh, for Congress to be called in, a, in three months. And perhaps let's look at the histor uh, historical perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, ha has that been done before? Um, when you do it at a, a mother body, for example, do you wait for the renewal of mandate to be completed? Um, look, SWAPO has a representative leadership. Mm. Otherwise, what you then call is that you, you are, first of all, you are undermining <laughs> the capability of the central committee that are elected mm. by the people. Mm -hmm. In other words, those people are elected to represent them, yeah. including the regional secretary, mm -hmm. are elected by their constituency to represent them. Mm. But the constitution never said, no, when you go to decision, when there are decisions to be taken, first come and consult us. Otherwise, then we're not supposed to have central committee, we're just supposed to call every member of Swapo Youth League to come and do the nomination. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. therefore, the central committee is empowered, national executive committee is empowered, regional secretary who are members of central committee by virtue of their cons of the constitu constitutions yeah. are empowered to take those decisions. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the notion of the renewal of mandate is not completed does not hamper the process. By the way, uh, uh, why do we have a job asking for experience? 
Why do you say this is an entry level position? This is a managerial position. Why? So then the, 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 the regions are still ought to nominate central committee members. Mm. So by virtue of that, that means we are now injecting probably the prospect secretaries to come because you need to come through mm -hmm. the central committee and you need to build that experience. Mm -hmm. So we will not uh, just take somebody because yes, you have uh, a membership card, uh, you must just uh, come and take over uh, uh, you know, any leadership position when you did not even serve the section. Mm -hmm. So you need to build that experience. Mm -hmm. So, but we are not saying uh, we have violated anything. Uh, we are just trying to tell that we have the representative leadership and that is the, 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 the issue here. So secretaries of the regions are empowered just like NEC and the Central Committee members. Mm -hmm. um, now, so it looks like it's a, it's a foregone conclusion now that indeed uh, you and uh, Christine will stand unopposed as a matter of fact, the Congress will only rubber stamp already your, your terms for the next five years. But, um, you know, Namibian Sun reported uh, immediately after the, the, the Central Committee that uh, your nominations, your endorsements are seen to be in favor of Vice President Netumbo Nanindaitwa ahead of the Swapo Congress. What, what, is your, what is your comment on that? You see, I always say, people are entitled to their opinion, yeah. including yourself. <laughs> you are entitled to your opinion. <laughs> yeah. But what is important is that your opinion shall, shall never surpass any other people. Mm. So everybody has uh, their own opinion. Now, as much as we are speaking now, we are in the renewal of mandate of the party. Yeah. Uh, there is no candidate for the party as we speak, unless otherwise I'm told because as far as I know, Polit Bureau will initiate the process of, of, of nomination of those candidates. Yeah. So to us as Swapo Party, like, until that time comes, until we know who are the candidates, because now how do you even uh, I mean, start campaigning when you do not have candidates? Who, who are those candidates? For us as Swapo Party, like, we wait for that process to start. For now, allow us to concentrate on our Congress for the Swapo Party Youth League mm -hmm. without making any attachment to any candidate because we don't have any candidates. We'll wait until that time comes. When that time comes, mm -hmm. yes, you'll be the first people to know who will mm -hmm. be our candidate mm -hmm. if yeah. we if that process starts. For <laughs> now, there's yeah. no candidate yeah. uh, and we'll wait for, for that process to then start when then we can talk about candidates for the party. For now, Swapo Youth League. Yeah. The, the I know that you are, I, I understand what you're saying. The Vice President has come out this week, she said uh, on Eagle FM that she's ready to, to stand for that position if she was uh, nominated and that is what you are hammering on also to say mm. that there has to be a formal process first. Uh, are you an Etumbo supporter? Uh, well, I will not say uh, anything as I'm saying. I, I want to conclude and say, look, as a leader of the Youth League, yeah. We wait until the process of nomination is initiated yeah. for us then to know who do we support. Yeah, yeah. So we will not, uh, I don't know where, uh, was it drawn that I'm an Etumbo supporter? Was it then uh, somewhere you found me campaigning for Netumbo when we are not even campaigning for Netumbo because <laughs> the process did not start yet? Yeah. <laughs> so you are trying really to. You, you are trying really to put weight in my mouth, or you want to squeeze me in the corner. Yeah. On behalf of Swapo Party, you think that I represent the positions of the party leadership yeah. will only come when the nomination process has initiated. I mean, the, when the process is initiated. Yeah, it's a good one, uh, Ephraim, because um, look, the reason why I'm asking is because there is um, also this. Uh, we are told that uh, your the youth league currently, especially going into that central committee meeting, was sort of divided into two camps. There is a Congo camp, which is pro uh, Netumbo, and then there is a, a, a Mario Share faction, 
that is pro Nanso, pro Harambe, pro President Gengob's choice. Uh, do you see those divisions when you are sitting together as, as a leadership? When we went to a, a central committee, uh, uh, and that's where I don't want to agree, yeah. uh, for us as Swapo Party Youth League, we are united force. Um, being, uh, as you are mentioning it, that we are, we are divided into factions. Yeah. Those factions, I am the chair of the central committee, I did not see that, uh, that, that faction. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if there was faction, how do the, the, the central committee say 52 members, mm -hmm. but they all agreed unanimously for this decision that we are talking about. So uh, I always want to say, uh, remove us from uh, the, 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 the squamble if they are, yeah. uh, of the nominations of who and what. And we as young people will not be there to be used by anybody. Mm. So we want to be independent in terms of making our own decision when that time comes, who will be our candidates. So I just want to dispense that uh, we, we, we are not in factions mm. and uh, also to make it clear that we, myself, share and the rest. Mm. We don't have issues. Not so you, you think that, uh, Mr. Nekonga, that uh, when Governor Shea was removed, from his position as Secretary for Economic Affairs, that he just turned the other cheek and like Jesus Christ and say, if you slap me this side, I, I give the other cheek. He just, he never, because we saw, he publicly sort of called you out and say, you know, he didn't like the way he was called, uh, removed from his position. You, you think he doesn't, you think he's fully backing you? Um, I don't want to go into that. But basically what I'm saying, you might be even surprised to hear who, who, who nominated who and who seconded who. Mm -hmm. uh, have it been like that, why could we then have another nomination? We are talking about 52 members that were present at a meeting, mm -hmm. but including uh, Honorable Chair. Uh, why did he not then nominate somebody else? Mm -hmm. So if then we are faction. We are not a faction, we are united. So uh, the other things that you, are, you want to bring up of whatever happened, uh, was removed or whatever the case might be. Remember, this is just the decisions of Central Committee mm -hmm. and uh, this, they, they, they felt so. Um, by the way, they, have, they are the one who have um, um, uh, already put him at that position before. Mm -hmm. So uh, the body is, have, they have that, uh, uh, that power. So uh, me and my brother share, we are common, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. always. And we don't have issues with each other. That's what I want to put in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before we go on a break, um, just there's also this notion that the Swapo Party Youth League over the past five years has been playing second fiddle to Nanso. People saying that Nanso is more of a more visible and more uh, loved, if you like, uh, body than, than, than the Swapo Party Youth League. And people are saying that uh, this was, that this came out clearly when uh, the president, for example, uh, appointed a lot of uh, some young people from the NASA structures, or who served actively in the, swap, in the NASA structures, to parliament, and not uh, the Youth League. Uh, do you think that uh, the Youth League under your leadership has been the Youth League? Well, once again, I say, uh, people are entitled to their opinion. Yeah. And when you are in a public office, you ought to have those criticisms. Uh, from our side, as a Swapo Youth League, I still strongly feel we have done what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I will repeat it over and over. Swapo Youth League is a wing of the ruling party. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps maybe that we don't go and come and close your office, is maybe if that is what not making us irrelevant, well, unfortunately, that is not us. But we have engaged those in positions of authority, uh, including president, ministers, on various issues. And some of those issues are resolved. Mm -hmm. uh, one of it is FEMA, that uh, we won't want to claim victory or whatever. But you can hear that FEMA is now being packed so that we, we, we actively engage. But we never come to 
Namibia Sun and say, yeah, look, today we have put uh, Honorable Shimi or in the corner or whatever. It's a ruling party because these are our comrades. We go to them and say, look, there is this critical concern. Uh, please, let's uh, deal with this way. Maybe the only thing that we don't do is because we don't come to Namibia Sun and say, yeah, we had a, a heated debate meeting with uh, Honorable Shimi and so forth that we can't do. But uh, we have been proactive in terms of uh, many challenges that are facing our people, including unemployment. We have provided what we think that can be done. We have been thinking about agricultural transformation for us to create employment for our people. Um, now you can see what is happening now with the closing down of Chinatown and other, any, any, any business. I can tell you that yes, we, we engage and this is the level of what you, our engagement. So we have been at the, at, the, at, the, at the helm of things. The only thing that we cannot do is really to go and be unloaded and insult our leaders and maybe uh, show them. But yes, at, at a certain extent now we, are, uh, we might be pushed especially when we have arrogant uh, ministers and deputy ministers that do not want to implement the Swapo Party Manifesto. Because here, we as a wing, we, we just call for the implementations of, uh, of uh, uh, the Swapo Manifesto. Mm -hmm. uh, things that we, we, we have been talking about, the red line for example, these are things that we have already discussed at the, at the, at the land conference. It's just merely an implementation. We mm -hmm. don't even need to discuss about it with the Whatever, because it's issue that we have already resolved, mm -hmm. just waiting for the implementation. If those implementations are not coming, then we must ask leadership, say, why? Mm -hmm. Why are we here? Yeah. Uh, the issue like, for example, now, closing down business, we are worried. And we can't come here and tell you our worry. We will tell to the, the leadership that, look, if you close this business, despite whatever the challenges, mm -hmm. where did the problem started from? If it's true, for example, if uh, NAMRA have burned down people's worth goods mm -hmm. and they are f the, the Chinese also have the counterfeit product in their shop, let, FIMA, I mean, let uh, NAMRA do their work. So these are things that we, we confront situation head on. Mm -hmm. But yes, we might not come and claim victory to be relevant now to the people's uh, eyes and say, yeah, swap a party youth league went and uh, closed down NAMRA office or whatever the case may be. That we cannot do. Mm. We are a responsible citizen and we are a responsible leadership of swap a party youth league. Yeah, indeed. We go for a break and uh, return for second half. Adam Taz is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vinduk High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. Continue with uh, Ephraim Nakongo from the Swabo Party Youth League. Now, you, you know, you, you said you don't want to claim easy victories, but let's talk about this FEMA thing. How, how is that a Swabo Youth League vic victory? It's job and pandas, uh, you know, some would argue. Well, I, I did not say to want to claim victory, but I'm saying mm -hmm. uh, behind the scene, okay, whether it was now brought in by job and panda, the fact remains we have spoken to the leadership to say, look, mm -hmm. this is not in the public interest. Uh, let the people be accorded an opportunity to discuss it further yeah. and make sure that uh, 
it, it, it's, it's in the public interest. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, the fact that we have entered that space uh, and we continue with others, so uh, that's what we are talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, you, you spoke about ministers and deputy ministers that are not uh, fulfilling the party's manifesto. Who are those? No, I, I'm not here to mention names. And I just said, we might be forced to say, if there are ministers or uh, member, I mean, uh, deputy ministers that um, uh, perhaps not fulfilling or implement the Swapo Party Manifesto, or those who are doing it contrary, will be forced to have a crush with them because it's, it's not us, but mm. it's the people that have given us the mandate. Is it, um, so, uh, is it a case of you not just wanting to mention a name, or you are saying there's currently no minister that is not... Uh, well, you can say whatever you feel saying it, uh, but uh, we are, what I'm basically saying is that we as a SWAPO, we have the contract between ourselves and the people. Yeah. And that contract needs to be uh, implemented. Yeah. If there are those that are in position of authority and they are not implementing that, or they are causing harm yeah. to that, then they are fighting the people. Yeah. That's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. <coughs> There's one thing that, I, that, I, that bothers me a lot, Ephraim, and um, you know, President Hage Gengob likes saying that, uh, he, you know, he, he, he's a very media-friendly man. You know, he invites the, the press to state house. He urges public officials, whether from the party or from <coughs> government, to be open and proactive in engaging the media. And, and it's not about us as the media. It's about the masses that you are serving in your, in your various capacities. We are only a, transmi a transmitting belt of information but the information is really meant for the people and not for us. Mm -hmm. Why is it that I get a feeling that the, this, because you, you, you said, for example, that uh, you know, we do things, but we wouldn't come to Namibian Sun, which I understand. Uh, it's a general point you're making, you're not referring to Namibian Sun per se. Mm -hmm. But why is it that you do things and there's little mention of these things for the people to know that you are indeed doing what you have voted in these offices <coughs> uh, maybe to expand to expand on that the swapo secretary general this week was in the papers saying uh, what did she say she was in the namibian talking about uh, essentially she was saying we do not report yeah why why are you interested in swapo things but just a week ago, she was inviting the media to go to Swapo events. So why is it that only when the Swapo Youth League or the party is having an event to which we are invited, then we can we are seen as partners. But if we initiate the conversation, uh, maybe you are different. Uh, to your credit, at least you give us a bit of comment here and there. But that attitude cannot be correct in general. Well. Um uh, I think uh, on that, you know, sometimes I don't speak on behalf of uh, other people. Of course. Um, but perhaps uh, the question is also maybe the selective morality of media. House. Mm. When we invite you, maybe the news that we, we are selling to you is not worth news to you. Uh, that's why sometimes you are selective in your... On, on, on which activity should we attend. Uh, I think that cannot be blamed on us. And I don't think if it's practical for me to call media every time I have a meeting with the minister who you must come and follow me. Uh, I don't think if that is newsworthy. Uh, but perhaps maybe if then we did not uh, transmit it to the public, well, maybe that is where we will uh, need to improve. Uh, but I think uh, I must also uh, just say the media also have their tendency of a selective uh, uh, way they, they, maybe they want to sell the news. Um, uh, but I think as far as I'm concerned, uh, when we have information, we have a group where we, 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 we put either our news or 
our information and so forth. Mm. But you, you tend to, few, to find few newspapers that do and those who do not. So uh, maybe I will also say, you know, uh, media sometimes they also have their own agenda. But yeah, you are talking about Swapo. Mm. Uh, there are those media who want to see Swapo disappearing. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that we can we are not in control. It's up to you as media mm -hmm. to <laughs> decide. To, and sometimes we are also seeing that look the way you report. Yeah. Uh, sometimes informations are not factual. You don't have uh, uh, to say. For example, in this case of Swapo Party, you know the secretary is there. They never called the secretary, but the other people who come and give wrong information that are not factual. First, you must always have two lines get the ideas or sometimes uh, for example I, I can talk uh, Namibian son will call you to give your input on what they are asking you when you go to the newspaper they only report what they want to report not what you told them so it, it become a, a, a problem then you know oh okay man this media house has uh, maybe their agenda if I have to put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I can defend <laughs> my team at any time. I can't speak for the entire industry, but we quote you as, as you say. I mean, there's no, I can't remember any time where you, we called you for comment and then we twisted your comment. Maybe we take a different angle, but your comments will be said exactly the way they were put. And, and, and that is just how we do it. But in any way, in, in any case. Do you genuinely think, as, as, a, as, a, as a national leader in your, in your capacity and at your level, do you sometimes think that there are media houses in this country that have an agenda against either the youth league or against SWAP in general? <laughs> Is that the impression that you get sometimes? Uh, well, uh, as I said, um, um, well, maybe sometimes the information I put, uh, as you have said, but sometimes you look and say, ah, no, this is certain. You look at the uh, uh, headlines, mm. okay? Later you, you go and, conf I mean, just go into detail, then you, oh, okay, fine, it's taken care of, it's, it's, it's factual. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe I will not say yes, but yes, I agree to say, yeah, some media house have agendas. Mm. You, you people maybe want to about disappeared. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, you know, we as a SWAPO uh, yeah. government, we, we are trying our level our best, mm. uh, despite the situations uh, that the country is facing itself in, in not only in Namibia, yeah. uh, in the world. Um, uh, but uh, that does not uh, take up your, uh, your right to report. Mm. So, uh, will not really come into a space, and that's the reason why sometimes we felt, okay, let's do our thing. Maybe we communicate through other means if media do not want to cover our event or whatever the case might be. So, mm. yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, on, on that issue, because I find it very interesting, Ephraim. You see, the media in this country, uh, if you look at the history of the media in our country, especially from the from the mid 80s, the likes of Gwen Lister, who were blatantly pro Swapo during the war, they, because they, they were pro the cause that Swapo was fighting for. And relations, uh, relations started evolving, not being so cordial, cordial anymore uh, after independence. Uh, the, the distance started wi widening between the media and the party. Why, why do you think that is the case? Do you think that journalists just started not liking Swapo or its leaders? Or do you think that there are, there's a portion of blame that Swapo must also own and say, maybe we haven't lived up to the expectations of, it, of the people? Uh, well, if there's um, something that maybe that can be improved between media and Swapo, well, let it be. Um, I think we will we'll be readily available to assist where we can. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think that we can do. Um, well, um, um, I think as a Swapo government and the Swapo itself, uh, uh, we are ready to solve the, 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 uh, the concerns of our citizens. Yeah. And that's why we are, we are elected by the people. And you agree with me and say 
Uh, yes, much has been done. Mm. Uh, perhaps uh, I always use the word to say well, we, we we can't uh, claim we are we are perfect, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, but I think we'll try our level uh, best to you know try to perfect that as, as a party mm. because um, our concern is to make sure that we improve the living standard of our Namibian people. Mm -hmm. uh, with the media, uh, the media is there to transmit what we do. Yeah, yeah. And also to criticize us, that's allowed. To mm -hmm. uh, I mean, where we are not doing well, we ought to, to be reminded that yes, here you are not doing well, maybe do it better. So, I mean, that, is, that balance needs to be there. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think if there's any, anything wrong with that. Yeah. The media could, for argument's sake, Mr. Mm. Nekongo, mm. question, because again, and I've discussed this issue with you before, mm. there were reports in the papers about you, uh, the fish rod transactions, your name was mentioned uh, in, in, that, in that web of, 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 of transactions. Of course, you, you've said that you've never done anything wrong. But if the media were to question the president's decision, for example, to appoint you to parliament recently or this week, amid all these accusations that you received fish rot money, for example, do you think if the media were, were to question that, that, that is us hating Swapo? Well, uh, I know you want to bring me back to the same thing that I have done, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to the fish rod because I did not come here for, for <laughs> that. I'll, I'll pack it because I have already answered, and I think you have the record. <laughs> um, the way I put it is, 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 is still relevant as yeah. such. Yeah. Um, perhaps uh, that I will not uh, attempt to answer. That's uh, fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, as we, as we head towards the end of this conversation, Mr. Nekongo, what do you make of the squabbles that happened on Friday at um, Chinatown? People getting arrested, uh, police uh, arresting Michael Amshalelo and some leaders of EFF, NEFF, and so forth and, and, and so on. What, what, do you, what is your reading of that situation and how things should be handled? First of all, I think uh, it's young people it's, who are affected it's, uh, it's, in any it's case. It's regrettable. Yeah that um, situations uh, are allowed perhaps to go to that extent. Um, my view is that uh, uh, first of all, we are playing with the bread and butter issue here, mm. sensitive for that matter. Um, all of us as Namibians uh, or any other investor must be treated uh, uh, with uh, respect. Um, we also need to look at uh, our brothers and sisters that are uh, recruited at those entities. If there are issues of labors, um, let's deal with it as such, uh, to improve the conditions of the, the, our people. That need to be, uh, uh, to be done as such. Mm. And I know the, the workers have their representative and the law is very clear on that, who would do what or would do what. Um, uh, now, with the latest information that I have seen, um, it's an uncalled for uh, situation. I, I'm, I'm feeling right now as I'm speaking to you, that means that our brothers and sisters, those who work, whether they get peanut or whatever the case might be, the situation will be that if that is not there, yeah. what will happen? Mm. Um, but well, to us as government, I'm also saying those that we have given the responsibility must be sensitive on how to handle situation. Mm. Um, I'm yet to ascertain myself with the, all the relevant information perhaps, but I am just think that this thing is emanating from NAMRA mm. uh, uh, issue. But perhaps we need also to understand uh, the, the report from there. Is it that the, this counterfeit worth for five million is for Namibians mm. or for everybody? Mm. Uh, I was listening uh, to a clip where the commissioner said uh, uh, it's not even 5% or maybe 
20% that these goods are for Namibians. Mm. But maybe it's also including Chinese, although they are saying they have to respect the integrity of their client and so forth. Mm. Mm. Uh, but the question is, if Chinese are selling counterfeit f uh, product in Chinatown, they must just be treated same, um, uh, just like any other person. I think the law must be applied equally without, uh, you know, um, that that situation need to be addressed as such. So mm -hmm. then uh, government through the uh, established uh, institutions that are they must able to deal with this situation so that mm -hmm. it must not be allowed to go to that uh, extent. Um, yes, we must respect each other, both of us, be it leaders, be it uh, the business community, um, so that we allow you know, government is not uh, uh, responsible for creating employment, mm. but cre employment should be created by private sector. Um, I think private sector need now to come in and also make sure that when you are an investor, you are also complying with the law mm. of the country. If there are those situations, they must be dealt as, as such. But what I'm also worried now is inciting violence. That's a very serious one. Mm. and. Uh, uh, as peaceful as we are, uh, we ought to preserve that peace so that we all live in harmony. We can have differences, uh, but when we have differences, let's sit around the table and say, look, we have a problem here, how do we solve the problem? Mm -hmm. But perhaps not to go to an extent of ex inciting violence um, uh, in public and uh, the situation might be not conducive mm -hmm. and uh, politics we must always, by all means, resolve things peacefully so that it does not go to an extent regrettable, like what I'm observing. Police have to be drawn in because police have to do their job. They mm -hmm. need to protect life, they need to protect property, they need to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is a really a regrettable situation, o although we are busy really um, 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 under understanding and uh, listening to everybody and also hear their concern and so forth. Yeah. It's really a regrettable situation. Indeed. Mm. Mr. Nekongo, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that is uh, Ephraim Nekongo. He's uh, secretary of the Swap Apart Youth League, engaging us on the agenda tonight. Thank you for watching. Have you received a loan from NASFAV? NASFAV loan is the same as any other loan. It must be paid and settled. NASFAV has a set of guidelines on how you can repay your loan and become debt-free. Therefore, it is important that you, a former beneficiary and a responsible Namibian, show your patriotism by helping pay back your loan and thus helping NASFAF become a revolving fund for the benefit of future potential students. By failing to pay back your NASFAF loan, you risk being blacklisted or having a court order against you. So arrange with the fund to pay back your loan today. For more information on how you can repay your loan, Visit our website at www.nasfaf.na or visit our Facebook page or Twitter. Do the right thing and hashtag pay back the money. Adam Tass is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vindok High School Fek Cop on 20 and 21 May, where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust.